So today I thought I'm going to show you how to make cheap, easy, raised garden beds. And if I can do it, anybody can. surprised me with a visit today. Yeah, I was bored. <laughs> Nick's gonna give me two loads and uh, do some blocks and in exchange for a eucalyptus tree because he needs some gateposts. We believe in trade. Yeah, we do trade. Yes. So he's going to give me his time and uh, his mixer to do two loads and put some blocks up. And in exchange, he's going to get a eucalyptus tree for his gate posts. Yeah, much needed gate posts. So for this, you're going to need an empty box. Or a lot of empty boxes if you want a lot of raised garden beds and you are going to need to have some chicken wire and a wire cutter and that should be all and then you will fill it with if you want to just do compost and soil or just soil or a bit of a hugel culture with the rotting wood, compost, soil, it's up to you. So I've barely started and I already have my first mistake. It turns out that the chicken wire I bought is not made of wire, it's made of plastic. So I'm going to have to use a pair of scissors instead of the wire cutters. I don't know if it's going to work as well because the wire sort of helps the cardboard keep its shape when it gets all wet. But if I use zip ties, it might work. I've got this roll, so I may as well try and use it. So um, upset, I dropped my GoPro while I was filming and it's got a crack on the screen. Look at that, quite a few cracks really. Devastated. So I have some uh, packets of zip ties, luckily, and uh, this is the life of a problem solver. When one plan doesn't work, you've got to think of another plan <laughs> to solve that problem. Okay, let's see if this is going to work.
get some kind of bar or something on it. It's like that. Yeah, no, Nick said we, we're going to just do the return for the corner over here to put the door frame in. Yeah. Just straight onto the stone because we can't Isn't it? That's what I mean. get it's it like out. That. So I mean, that's just Working. pure stone there. But I mean, the other part on the side there where that soil is, yeah. Yeah. Clay. But I mean, this this part. I don't know. Do we go down to stone here as well, or seeing how far? Yeah, it's a little bit. I see. You hit the stone straight away. You can see that granite. So that's basically as far as we can go down there. Just been picking up some of the last of the acorns for the pigs. They're getting quite dry, these acorns. But, yep, they hear my voice. And here they come charging. You ready for some acorns? Hmm? Want some acorns, guys? So this plastic container fits perfectly in this tire and I'm going to try and see if I can use this to put their feed in. Well, try it with Coco Pop first. What do you say, Tandy? You think this is going to work? Nick is the gift that just keeps on giving. He's building me a sawhorse so that I can use my chainsaw. Make things much easier. <clears throat> there. Pretty basic. I'll just cut these ends off. Okay. This is the sawhorse that uh, Nick has made for me. He's absolutely amazing. Tandy is waiting for me to walk away because she likes removing the little red nipples from the irrigation system. So she's waiting for me to go because she knows if I'm standing here I'm going to tell her no. But we're having a competition. Who can outweigh the other? Oh, she's lying down ready to pounce on the red nipple. So Nick came around today because he um, needed some eucalyptus posts. And he needs a little bit more um, granite stone. And while I was busy doing an online uh, workshop, Nick made a couple of batches of cement. And look, the wall is nearly all the way to the top. Isn't that amazing? Now on this side over here, we are going to, over here, we're going to build a return so that we got something to attach the doorpost to. And um, we might have to use smaller bricks at the top um, because the blocks will probably be too big. But we'll have to sort that out when we get to that part. So my plan here now is going to be to make a hole for the sink so I'd be able to attach a sink here so I'll be able to get the sink um, plumbing sorted and I'm going to whitewash this wall because there will eventually be cupboards going up against it and areas where there's not going to be cupboards there will be some tiling.
Maybe just do cement, just to cement the bottom layer in. Yeah, because like I said, it's, it's all going to move. Yeah, it's like yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just, just like, just do like a little cement and then just place them on the cement. But don't cover this bottom part, with the whole floor with it's cement. Just, just, the li just the line, just to, just the line to, them, to let them sit on. Yeah, no, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's just, just get, getting the actual set, yeah, so that I can then work my lines. Yeah. If I don't get me lines, then suddenly I find that it all ends up. Yeah, no, I think just, I mean, like if you just mix up like a load of cement in the wheelbarrow, just to put down, yeah. Just to... Right. It's finding the right lines. Yeah. To start with and then just... Making sure they sit there, because once the rest come up, it isn't too bad. Yeah. My worry is that, like, because there will obviously be like a cavity for the poop to go into, and like, will the 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 pressure from the soil on the inside not cause these bricks to fall inwards? Well, no, because like I said. Yeah. There, and that one there. I mean, they kind of create their own yeah. interlocking. So that one can't fall that way because it's been pushing against. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this one will be supporting yeah. the weight of that one. I'm thinking actually to put a, just to keep it nice and solid, to put a line of cement around the bottom. Around the bottom. Yeah. We'll just give it that more. I don't know, more of a structure. Well, yeah, like I say, is it, 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 you know, I can get a level platform, you know, because the sand, yeah, it will yeah. move. Yeah, no, definitely. You can see all the processionary caterpillar carcasses. 
from us burning the nests. Very, very windy day today. As you can see from the trees. And um, it was quite windy during the night. You can hear the wind. Wood. The greenhouse is staying put. I won't lie, it is taking strain in this very hectic wind. Fingers crossed it doesn't blow 200 meters through the air again. It's made a difference with that cement, yeah? Yeah, like I say, it just gives me something sticky there. Yeah. In this wind, it's probably time for a cup of coffee. Oh, and of course, Kaka Pop is overseeing the work over there. She's standing there watching. Thank you, Gunda, for these amazing cast iron pots. I'm going to use one to make a turkey stew tonight. And look what the cat has dragged in today. <laughs> Hello, Andrea. Hello, Sydney. Welcome to Bella Pedra. This is your first visit. It is. I'll it long. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the kettle on. Oh, Nick! It's just really simple. Um, it just stuck. Like me. <laughs> it just stuck the the post to the back of the this big yeah. tile. Yeah. And we just got a couple of nails just to make sure it doesn't slip for a minute. Brilliant! Thank you so much. So we can put that up. So Tandy thinks that she's still a, a little puppy. But she's almost as big as Nick. 